All right, folks, we're back with another episode of Super Mario 3D Land gameplay once again, as we're back to start off episode number, of course, 19 of the series. So, not that long ago, we just finished up World 4-2 in the last video, and it didn't turn out as bad as the last level that I went through. But anyways, time to move on to World 4-3. Though this is another unlockable stage requiring us to get 30 star medals. But since we're at the max capacity, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Here it is. Here is World 4 3. So, let's go ahead and do this thing. Let's go. This, my friends, is Rotate Square Land, which is basically what it sounds like. It has a lot of rotating square platforms in it, as the name implies, basically. So, yeah, and already for a star medal off the gecko, too. Okay, be careful, Mario. Oh, he almost fell off! Almost! That would have been another life loss if he did that again. Ready. Thank you! Jesus, Mario. I'm trying to tell him to get rid of the darn thing and Mumble couldn't. The uh, fake item block. The uh, fake block speed. But finally, we got rid of it. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Got some coins. Oh, there's no more coins in that thing. Alright then. For a split second? Hold up, hold up. Yahoo! Let's go. Let's go, Mario. Oh, yeah, starting strong, my boys. Oof. Oh, direct shot. Hold up! Hold up! My boy being a little bit too smooth on him! Hold up! Right, let me back up just a little bit. Okay, let me get that paragon There you go! That's how to do it! See? You're putting that work! Checkpoint! Okay, where is this toad? There he is. The last star medal is right there on that blue square. Oh yeah, my boys, standing strong. I oh, turn it. I try to get that one up. That's okay. We don't need to have a one up. We already have a lot of one-ups on our inventory anyway. Okay, careful. Be careful. There you go! You see, that's how you do work. Let's go, my boys. Oh, yeah! Just how you do it! All right, now there's one last thing that I want to actually do before we uh, wrap this episode up. So hold on. Give me um, one second. Actually, a couple of things. First of all, I want to actually showcase what happens if you do enter a toad house. I'll demonstrate this with World 1 and 2 to show you what I'm talking about. Welcome to the toad house. There's a present here for you. I wonder what's inside. See? A fire flower. I'm sticking back with a tanuki suit because you know I love me with some tanuki suits. Look at Mario go with the lawn jumps! Alright. By the way, um, 
if you see a toad house that has a green question mark on it, like this one here as an example, this means that someone has gifted you something from Street Pass. So, I just saw that green question mark just now while I was um, looking through this. There's gift one, number one from this me. First of all, thank you. All right, there we go. Now, the last thing I want to do is actually head back to World 4-2 as there was something I actually forgot to mention here. So, hold on. Okay, I'm back in World 4-2 and I want to actually discuss something. So, in case any of you guys are curious, yes, there is actually a secret exit that you can find in this level. I actually forgot to talk about it in the, um, in the last episode when I was talking and discussing about this level. So... That's why I'm heading back into this stage so I can show, showcase where the secret exit is. And it's right actually near the end of the level when you get to, um, you know. Well, that's a really inefficient way to get ink on the screen. But I'll show you where it is. See, that's how you do that work. Get out of here, sucker. Okay, this calls for some extra height. Come on, dude. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. If you go over here, there's, there's another secret pipe here. And in this pipe, it will lead you over to World 5, skipping the process of getting to World 4. So that's why I'm showing this on my 100% save file and not on my other one. Because it wouldn't make any sense. So, there you go. There it is. Anyway, back to the actual film. Anyway, that's about it that I can cover for this episode. Nothing too major has happened, but I'd say this episode has been pretty good lately. So, I guess I'll take it. Alright guys, we'll wrap this episode up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun making this video. I'll again see you guys next time when I, of course, come back for the next episode to tackle through some more of this game and tackle the next stage. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later. So, till next time, guys, bye.